So we're gonna talk a little bit about the shy. Uh -huh. um, we're in the middle of season two right now. Uh -huh. um, how do you feel your character Emmett has evolved since season one, if he has to you? Um, I just think that, um, I don't think he's evolved quite yet. I think we just sort of seeing uh, how he deals with certain things he hasn't dealt with before, you know, being on his own. Okay. Um, he's always been under his mom's wing, really, you know, and she's sort of just being a little selfish this time around and being like really just focusing on her and she got to get her son out the house. She can't focus on him anymore. So I think, uh, you know, him dealing with uh, being an adult, being a father, um, finding a way on his own um, and uh, also seeking out his seeking out his father uh, for, for guidance. Um, so I think that's another mission piece to his growth that he feels like he may need. and. Um, sort of a backbone uh, that uh, I think that'll be important for him on the next the next step next steps of his uh, his life right. what initially attracted you to the role of Emmett when you were reading it like what made you want to be a part of this and that role specifically I just think I hadn't really done a, a real film for the culture yet or a real series for the culture yet um, a lot of other films I've done have been uh, broader maybe bigger projects like collateral beauty and like um, I think the other film I probably did for the culture, honestly, was Detroit. Um, so, The Shy was one of those one of those projects. Like, it felt like a classic. You know, it felt like uh, Everybody Hates Chris or like The Wire or like Martin or like you know one of those films was like you know what that was a show. I remember that. You know, and I wanted to be a part of something classic. You know, because um, not only did I want to just you know speak to my people and do a film for our people was just, I wanted to take my career that way. You know, I hadn't done anything like it before. Okay. Um, is there anything about Emmett that you can actually like relate to and that you kind of see within yourself in that character? Uh, just the charisma, the, the, the smiling, you know, that I think I brought a little bit of myself to that. Um, you know, getting girls, I mean, obviously, but it's, I was never that reckless, that crazy. I mean, you know, that's a, I think that's just fun to play with, pretend to play with on, on screen. Like, yeah, 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 you know, I do this, I do that. I got this baby mama, this baby mama. It's fun to like talk about in like pretend way, but like to really live that life is a whole nother experience. So, um, you know, it's certain things I, I, I can relate to, uh, you know, the, some, some sort of his fashion a little bit, the shoes. I even feel like I had to pay attention to my reality shoe game, you know, outside the character to make sure, like, cause I feel like the first thing people would do when they see me was like, <laughs> right, my shoes, and I'd be like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, do y'all sisters, right? I have a little, I have a younger sister. If she were to date someone like Emmett, what would your advice be to her? What would you tell her? I say keep your guard up, keep your guard up, because he he a player. I see right through him. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So the show is definitely critically acclaimed, um, but there's definitely some people who still feel it may give kind of negative portrayals of black life, black family. Mm -hmm. um, what do you say to those kind of critiques that it's kind of portraying black stereotypes in like a negative way? Well, I just think that we got to really watch the news. I mean, like, and we really got to pay attention to social media. We are killing each other. It's just, that is what it is. Yeah. It is drama against drama, you know? Um, rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle. Rest in peace to all the, you know, black on black crime, you know, um, you know, fallen soldiers. That's just like, you know, it's, we, we're killing each other. You know, we gotta, before we can protest against cops, before we can protest against white people or whatever, we gotta make sure we sticking together. Um, and I think uh, we only really just show them what we hear and the stories we, we hear, you know? Yeah, yeah. I always thought that critique was unfair because you want to be authentic, right? Yeah, and yeah. it's just like, you know, we don't really say that when like power come on. They, you know, it's like, you know, people want drama in a TV show. It just, and that's, 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 that's also real it. because no one wants to watch a TV show, a boring TV show. You know what I'm saying? They want some, they want some emotion provoking thing. So it's just, uh, we walk in that line as well, you know, cause I felt like season one, we were a little brighter. Um, season two is a, a little darker now, especially you know with the first episode, you know with you know grandma getting thrown around. Now they're like, oh, what's that? No, nah, man, we don't do that. We don't do that. But it happens, and it's sad, you know. So we just wanted to show that.